what is up guys Zan from the Zan Madden YouTube channel and I cannot believe I'm doing this video today we're going to be talking about how to make your man coverage better in Madden 24. You're going rogue you're going renegade. Now it's no secret that zone coverage is pretty rough this year a lot of different ways to pull zones especially on the sidelines and we know that match coverage is completely and utterly busted so as a result have to know how to play a little bit of man coverage especially when it comes to defending your bunch metas and your tight slots metas trips tied in really anything with any route that gives you any semblance of a problem so we're going to be talking about how to shade your man coverage effectively. Now, before we get into shading man coverage effectively, I would like to make sure that you guys do me a quick favor, hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you guys take the time to hit the notification bell so you get a push notification every time we upload, which is Monday through Friday in the mornings here on the Zan Mad YouTube channel. And also drop a comment below if you have a little bit of time to help push this video out in the algorithm and help this channel reach other Madden players just like you. And also make sure that you guys check out our strategy website, gridirongameplans.gg. If you like the teachings in today's video, I can nearly promise you you will love them in our 3-4 odd defensive game plan the 3-4 odd is taking over as an up-and-coming defensive meta in madden 24 a lot of players have trouble blocking the blitz out of this and we're gonna have setups for bunch tight trips tight ends you guys name it you guys will be able to throw in this little tip here today into that game plan to help lock down the coverage behind the pressure enough yapping let's get into it we're gonna be showing you guys in general here let's talk about one of the most popular plays in madden which is going to be vertical um, obviously, we know that there are, you know, corner routes, there are crossing routes, but obviously verticals is a very popular play. And a lot of players don't know that with this year's game, it's not as simple as shading inside and outside. I honestly think that's a good thing for the game, to be totally honest with you, because if it was that simple, it would just be a 50-50 guessing game. I'll shade outside, guard anything that comes inside. The way shading works in Madden is bi-directionally. So what that means is not only do you want to shade inside or outside you also want to shade up or down to help determine do we want to play low inside or high inside or low outside or high outside it's not just inside and it'll shut down any in breaking route or outside and it'll shut down any outbreaking route there are a couple different ways that you guys can do this i think that when you're talking about bi-directional shading it's gonna be best to do the individual thing here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna play a little bit of off coverage here against uh the point man which is the crossing route brian finneran and i'm gonna you know just go ahead and back this guy up now, what we're going to be doing is playing a shade on him. We know that it's a crossing route, or that's what we want to defend. So what we're going to do is we're going to press YA, which is uh, triangle X on PlayStation, and that's going to bring up the individual coverage menu. From there, we're going to choose Brian Finneran, which is right bumper, and then we're going to shade him to the left because we know that we want to protect against his crossing route. Now, the thing from there is that we want to then go ahead and shade up or down. Now, the thing is, with the individual shading, we only have the ability to shade inside or outside. From there, we want to do universal coverage shading. So what we're going to do is we are going to shade basically down universally by hitting Y and then down on the right stick. Now, from there, it's important to remember that if you are playing a cover one style defense, you don't have a deep help over the top. It is very, very important that you make sure that you actually roll up into press coverage with those players so they don't just run and jog down at the receivers and get blown right by for the one play score. But as it pertains here with this particular defense, uh, you're going to note that you're going to be able to, even if they use a pull route down the sideline for the purpose of, you know, making it so your uh, deep zone can't respond, you're going to see here that Finneran, due to the bi-directional shade, is actually very clamped on this throw. You see that our individual shade inside took care of him and the down shade made it so the guy played the low inside hip of the receiver as he breaks down the field. So here's our instant replay. We have Finneran. His man is going to play inside technique. You see, as soon as the ball snap, Pat Pete jumps to the inside shoulder. The universal shade for the coverage is down. So he's going to play the underneath side or the low hip of this receiver, which puts him in perfect trail technique to guard this crossing route and it never gets open. Now let's go ahead and talk about corner routes. Obviously we know corner routes are very, very popular as they are every year. And we are very used to having to play match coverage against certain sets for the purpose of guarding them. Well, that's not the case this year because match coverage, as I mentioned at the top of the video, is very, very broken. 
So what we're going to go ahead and do here is we are going to spy off our pass rush just so we can look at this here. We are going to go ahead and shade down. So Y, right stick down. And then we are going to shade outside universally, which will tell every player on the field to play the outside shoulder of their guy. Now, again, if you don't want that universal rule where everyone's playing outside shade, you could go to it on the individual level and say, you know what, why A, why for Finneran, and I want to play him specifically left. So now when it comes to Finneran getting off the ball on this, you are going to see that he is going to be played low and outside, and that corner out is not going to get open at all. Let's compare that real quick to if I were to just play an outside shade. I know this sounds crazy, but if I were to just hit Y, right stick outside, you're going to see that there is going to be a throwing lane for Fenrin. I'm not kidding. I can throw this ball into that. You see how we got that inside cut and it's really that bi-directional shading that helps us. Now I know right there, the pass rush kind of got to us before we could get this ball out. So let me show you that one more time. I'm just going to hit Y, right stick right for outside. You would think that would be enough. And the truth is it's really not. So again, you see here, I can throw that against an outside shade very, very easily. It's the moment that we go ahead and do the bi-directional, meaning not only are we shading outside, but we're also shading down. That is going to make it so Finneran is guarded. So Y right on the right stick, Y down on the right stick. And that's going to make it so he gets played. Now, again, if you're playing off coverage and you're shading down, be careful because those guys will get run by from time to time. Unless you have safety help over the top, that can be problematic, especially on the deep sideline uh, because you have to have a deep half for that. When you're playing compression, a cover one safety can be able to get to both of those throws in the seam. Because we did this bi-directional shade, this is going to tell Pat Pete, play low, play outside. He's gonna clamp it down. And this is where it gets really, really crazy because as I mentioned, we have our three, four odd defensive game plan. You may have noticed that our defensive coordinator or our co-defensive coordinator on the website, Goose, has won back-to-back -back Friday night footballs. I'm gonna give you guys just a tiny morsel of why. And you may have noticed that his outside linebackers, whether it be DeMarcus Ware or Micah Parsons, by the way, those guys have no man coverage ability at all, have been playing lockdown in man for him. And this is something that he could do on the fly as an adjustment. So let's say for whatever reason, I decide I don't want to blitz. Again, the blitz is the focus of the game plan and we do have the best blitz in the Madden community on the website. You've seen a lot of channels imitating this, putting out setups that aren't the actual setups for the blitz. We've seen a lot of other sites putting out their imitations of the 3-4 odd. Goose is the originator and his blitz is on the website and his way to get guaranteed pressures against all the different formations is in the game plan. Again, if we were to play, let's say a zone coverage here and we wanted to worry about, you know, maybe a slot corner route. It's a little bizarre that he can get LT or Micah Parsons or DeMarcus Ware to play lockdown man coverage. Check this out. So what we're going to do is we're going to man up. We got this corner route right here. To Megatron. We're gonna man up LT on Megatron. What? 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 Now we're gonna shade our coverage down universally, even though it's zone. You can always replace your hard flats back to purples if you want to. But then we're gonna shade individually to the left on Megatron. Now let's watch what that corner route looks like with LT and man to man on it. Press, shut down. Completely shut down. Now, of course, I'm not controlling two controllers right there, but a click on for an interception is in play. And I'll even give you a little bit of extra free ball right here. Maybe you put Lurker on your outside linebackers because then they'll be able to catch these picks. But look at this coverage, perfect press, perfect technique, smothers the route. And this allows us to play a cover three shell, which normally a corner route would get wide open against this cover three shell with a pass rushing outside linebacker in man to man. All because we understand how bi-directional shading allows you to play much better defense. Now, here's the bad news. I wanted to save that for the end. Guessing wrong on your bi-directional shading is gonna get you beat. That's the give and the take of it. However, this is why I'm trying to tell you guys the individual level is the level that is best. Let me explain why. And let's say that we're super, super worried about just in general, I'm gonna play cover one Robert. Okay, let's say that we're super worried about in general corner routes, but we know for a fact that there's the potential for one player on the field to run a post. Maybe we found a tell in our opponent. In general, we know that they've been spamming a lot of this and we're worried about maybe uh, a post to Finneran. What we could do is we can say, you know what? We're gonna roll down. We're gonna play a shade down, uh, shade down man. 
we are going to globally shade everyone on the field outside in case it is bench. And just in case it is a post to Finneran, we are going to individually shade Finneran to the left. So basically what this means is that anybody who runs an outbreaking route on this defense should be fine because we've shaded universally down, we've shaded universally outside. But for that one defender that is on our team, we have shaded him universally down, but individually to the inside. So let's go ahead and take a look here. I got, I know that we have Fenrir glowing. Obviously, depending on your covered shell, you know, you're gonna have help, but I'll just put purples on the field here, okay? So what we're gonna do here is we should be protected in the event of bench, but Fenrir should be handled in the event of a post route. And you see that that is exactly what occurred. Now, I know that Fenrir beat the press. That was because of the X factor. Obviously X factors all have a, a built-in beat press mechanic to it, but look at the catch up logic of this particular technique. Factoring in all the while that if Fenrir's not in the zone, he doesn't get this instant win. But even when he does get the instant win right here, he is still absolutely smothered and Chuck Woodson even bumped into a guy and he was still covered on this play. And we're in a spot where we could play completely lockdown coverage. Now, again, let's take it back into that same scenario where we're worried about bench or we're worried about corner routes, right? So we're in cover one robber. We're pressed up. We're universally shaded down. We're universally shaded outside. But we individually shade Fenrir to the left because we're worried again about potentially him running a post. Very, very popular, right? Now we're in a spot where, in this situation, you're gonna see Finneran killed his guy, but another corner route was completely shut down by the man-to-man -man coverage. Let's take a look. So you see right here, we got Tyreek Hill, universally shaded down, universally shaded outside. Completely shut down. Look at Porter work to the outside low hit. Over here on this example, we got Finneran who again, glowing X Factor, gets off the jam. His guy is shaded down, but is shaded inside. So you look how Woodson is individually on the inside hip while trailing Fenrir. So Fenrir is open to the corner. That is the cat and mouse game, is if you're guessing post and it's a corner, or you're guessing corner and it's a post or a crosser, you're now in a situation where that's a little bit tougher to throw. So for those of you that are struggling with man-to-man -man coverage, or maybe those of you that are offensively struggling against man-to-man -man coverage, you now understand why things are happening the way they are and how to counter them or what your opponent is doing against you to make it so your routes are never open, despite the fact that it feels like everyone you watch always has guys open. The reason is they understand what they're looking at. Oh man, that was super clamped. Let me go ahead and take advantage of that outside low shade and play a high inside route and vice versa. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, this is a big deal. Zone coverage is bad. Match coverage is unworkable, completely unworkable. And I hope that it did help you guys out. If it did, please subscribe to the channel. I'll push this video out if you drop a comment below. If you guys want the rest of our defense, head over to GridironGamePlans.gg. I promise you will not be disappointed. Far and away the most lockdown defense in the community. Goose, Goose is a legend, man. Check it out. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, this is Zan. Get in the lab, man. Good luck.